So hey, uh, my name is Josh. I'm the IT course careers instructor, and I have Chris here, who's a recent graduate, and they they recently got a job as well. So thanks so much for coming on here. Hey, how you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, and then um, before we get started, do you have any like social media that you want to talk about and plug, like Instagram or LinkedIn or anything like that? I have an Instagram, uh, Mr. Dunwoody. That's uh, my last name. I'll send you the link for my LinkedIn as well. Okay. So you can put it in the description. Yeah. It'll be a little easier. I'll do that. I'll throw it up on the screen. I'll put a link in the description. So before like getting into IT and like discovering course careers and all that, what did you do for your job and life and stuff? Uh, I was previously I'm a security officer. I was going to school for criminal justice. So I was doing security to kind of learn a little bit about how things go. And I just got very uninterested. In it. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Like the f physical security component? Yeah, it's, it just wasn't for me. I, I loved learning about it. It was really cool. My teacher made it very interesting. But as I got out, uh, I recently graduated. So as I got out, I started to like, nah, I don't think this is for me in the long run. Uh, I gotcha. It's good. You can probably like accidentally make some use of it down the road. You just don't necessarily have to be, you know, a security guard or something like this or a security person. Yeah. And um, how long did it take you, like, once you started the Course Careers IT course until you finished it? Do you remember about how long that took? It took me, like, 10 days. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, like, right before. I could have finished it earlier. I really feel like I could have. It's just Christmas came around. Um, Holidays okay. started to come. I was like, I had to kind of. And, and still, even then, on Christmas, I still, like, went through, like, a lab and still did a little extra work. Oh, nice. No, no zero days. <laughs> no zero days, exactly. <laughs> That's cool. Cool, cool. Was there any particular part that took long? What was the most challenging part for you? Mm, most likely the installing the OS ticket lab because I ran into a problem and then I just oh. started over. I started completely over. Oh, damn. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> but it, it is what it is. It, it, it helped, though, kind of making it stick. Yeah. And then even, even just uh, it, it was interesting. So I, I wasn't mad at it. Yeah, that's good. I like doing stuff more than once because definitely you're going to learn at least something the second time and like third time it will get, you know, you'll get more comfortable with it. So it's not a complete loss. Most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from the time you graduated or sorry. Yeah. From the time you finished course careers to the time you ended up actually getting a job offer. How, do you remember how long that took? I finished course careers. I would say it would say within a month, it felt like really close to a month. I think I finished course careers like January 2nd or 3rd. Mm -hmm. And I just completed my first week of training. So. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. really fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I was, uh, I was going crazy with mm -hmm. um, job applications. I seen, mm -hmm. I forgot, I forgot uh gentleman's name. Um, James, it was James. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. And I was watching his videos and he said the same thing. I was like, yeah, once I finish this, I'm probably just going to sit here and spam. <laughs> and then even, even like two, three, three days before I finished the course, mm -hmm. I did what you said. You'd have a great um, like job application, like the job hunting section. Mm -hmm. I just put expecting to finish my certification yeah. on my uh, on my resume, and I, that's when I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna use this. I just start putting them in everywhere. Yeah. Do you, Do you remember? Um, did you interview for more than one place, or like how many places did you apply, and then how many places did you have to interview to as well? Uh, I'll say, but okay. So I interviewed for four places post course career. I interviewed for one place before mm -hmm. course career, and the interview was terrible. Oh, really? Like, that's what made me do course careers. Oh, <laughs> it was okay. so bad. I, I bombed it. I was like, oh, oh I, that was sorry. my worst interview. I, <laughs> the worst interview I ever had. I was sorry. like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I remember your videos. I have a, me and my friend, we watch your videos. Oh, and, thank you. And. I said, man, I'm like, just, I have to do this course. I said, like, that interview was just too bad. So I did the course. And then after that, I was like, I just wish I can give, give the interview one more go because I know I could do so well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. It sounds like the, the interview section was useful. Did you, did you watch like all 50 uh, questions and answers? Yeah, yeah, multiple yeah. times. I'll, oh, sure. there. I'll, I'll, I'll go to sleep on them too. <laughs> Before <laughs> I go to sleep, I'll set them play. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Yeah, it must have paid off then because you're, working <laughs> oh yeah yeah, yeah. I, I get it and you only really have to like let them stick one time and then once you get that one good interview you get that confidence mm -hmm. like any every interview after that was no problem oh nice that's that's good to hear 
Um, can I, you don't have to answer this by the way, but um, what kind of company, can you talk about like what kind of company you ended up with and like maybe like your position and title and all that? Yeah, I ended up as a data NLC for uh, global linking solutions. Oh. And more like a, like a third party IT for mm. other businesses. I know we work with Domino's, uh, I believe Jersey Mike's in a whole bunch of different other places and we work essentially as their IT department. Oh, oh gotcha. gotcha. You say NOC, uh, you say like NOC? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's that's cool. I, I used to want to work in a NOC really, really bad when I was trying to get Cisco CCNA and I got it and I tried to find a NOC job, but I just couldn't find one. I gave up. <laughs> <laughs> so far, man, it looks, it looks great. It's very interesting. That's cool. Um, is it like a hybrid or do you have to go to like the office every time or how does that work? It's fully remote. Oh my God. That's so good. <laughs> oh my God. And it's all because of you, Josh. It's all because of you. I don't know about that. Uh, you, I'm sure, I'm certain you put in a lot of effort because I, I'm, I'm sure, yeah. Anyway, thank you. But I, I know you, you did a lot of work. So. <laughs> Let's see, you showed me the door. Let's say that. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll accept this. <laughs> And then can you, are you allowed to talk about your salary range? You don't have to give like exact number or say anything at all, but. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, I make uh, 32,000, mm-hmm. 200 bucks, so like 1550. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So I was fine with it because, mostly because they're remote. So I was like, I'll, I'll take that in this first door, first foot, like in. It's really good because um, considering the time that it took you to actually finish course careers and get a job, maybe that was like less than two months and then to be working in a knock i mean 15 dollars is totally fine because there's there's no rule that says like oh you have to stay there 10 years right um and you're yeah. you're getting experience and there's probably a lot of tools in there as well like getting skills with those like easily go and make way more money right so um it's yeah. it's pretty good i would say especially remote is pretty decent sure for, for anyone watching this who's considering joining course careers, um, is there any part of the course that you recommend them to pay particular attention to that like really helped you out? Really the labs. The labs make you feel really comfortable when things are presented. In my training right now, they're showing us a ticketing system. Oh, nice. And I feel really good going into it, even during the interviews, them talking about different things. Wait, uh, I, it was an interview... That I did, I didn't get the job, obviously, but it was really good. They asked me about Active Directory and everything, and I had an answer for it. Oh, nice! But, yeah, really great answer. You know, yeah. uh, again, your job, prof- your job ready section helped me out with that. Oh, thank you. But I feel like I nailed, <laughs> I nailed every interview. I felt like, honestly. So, like, this isn't this is not necessarily for course careers, but just anyone um, who's wanting to get into IT as somebody who just spent like a couple months and then you got a nice remote job. Do you have any kind of advice for those people like wanting to get into the field? Be persistent. Don't take no for answer. I still get emails now, even jobs saying no. But all you need is one yes. So don't don't get discouraged with no's. It's not really something you should worry about. You should just worry about focusing on what you can control, getting better at your the skills that you know now, getting ready for interviews. Because once that one interview comes, I always think about it like if I don't get this interview, it's preparing me for the next one. Yeah, that's a good way to think because it's not like you're going to get no's forever until you're like 100. It's impossible, right? So if you just exactly. keep, keep going like you're saying and getting better, like you, you can't not succeed, right? Exactly. It's a numbers game, like you said. Yeah, especially I'm sure your your app your resume and portfolio is really nice too. It's like impossible to you know <laughs> to not get employed. I feel. Yeah, take that time, make a good good portfolio. Again, man, your job hunting section. I felt like I was perfect. Like I, <laughs> I keep hyping it up because it is it was it was great. I felt, like I said, that, if I, that was the be- that was I could change my answer. I think that's probably the next section actually. Oh, cool, cool. Well, thanks. Thanks. And then for, for you personally, do you have any future plans? Um, are you just going to kind of see how things go? Or are you thinking about security or cloud or any future plans? Like I do want to see the landscape of how everything is. I want to see what draws me to what. I do ha- I do eye cybersecurity. Mm-hmm. And I also want to get into, I know how to, do, before I did course careers, I learned SQL and Python. Oh, I nice. also want to get oh. into data analytics. Nice. So I'm 
kind of I'm just trying I'm trying to just see what goes on, and I want to be able to use, utilize having a remote job. Uh, mm. yeah. Seeing you be able to go about and do things, I want to see if I could get uh, able to do do the same thing. See yeah. the world while working. Yeah, sounds good. And when you start getting the experience, like it's only going to help you, right? Um, mm. You you can just be picky from now and like only get remote jobs if you want, and then you know go to Thailand or whatever you want to do. You have any like final thoughts or any final thing you want to say to anyone who might be watching? Uh, again, take the time, do the do the course. I recommend it ten out of ten. Be persistent and um, just get it done. Do, do the do the, do the thing. Yeah. Google. Thanks. Really, really appreciate it. Definitely agree with those words. Definitely, if you go through the motions, you're gonna get a job. Just like Chris, it's going to be cool. But yeah, thank you so much uh, for coming on. Super, super appreciate it. Oh, no problem. Good seeing you, Josh. Good seeing you too. Thank you.